newspaper editor, not a babysitter. Oh, what's this? You've got a headline, but where's the story? Get me Bob Wright. He's in Northbrook somewhere. <laughs> was the one and only reporter on a tiny... One horse hit weekly. One horse hit weekly. And I know that I was rescued by the great big National Daily Ace reporter, but... I'm sorry, darling. Never again, I promise. Getting married today? Or where is he? He's left the hotel, sir. Didn't leave any address. Well, find him. It's a big story. I don't care if he is married. Get me for I'm married. Please. We're all married. You can't wear that tie. It's hideous. Well, darling, it's my favourite. Hello, Mark. Do you know where Bob Wright's honeymooning? <laughs> no, no practical jokes. The chief wants him. What? I think I've got a line on him, sir. Well, the hotel on Loch Echo. Get it. Pity. Hello, Bob Wright. Good. Now go straight to Northborough Junction and get right on the night express. Oh no. I'm on my honeymoon. Just married. Sorry, sir. It's quite out of the question. The train leaves Northborough at 11 p.m. It's got a story and nobody else is covering it. It's a scoop and you get it. The Gold Express. A murder treasure comes to town. Oh, you mean the gold from the Santa Maria? There was a treasure trove case in court, surely? Yes. And Jake Du Bois is bringing the stuff to the museum himself. We want his story. Jake Du Bois. Right. Well, if there's a story there, I'll get it. Okay. You get it. Oh, I've got you a... Bridal suite at the Brussels Hotel tomorrow night. That's most kind of you, sir. National Daily Rules Lives. Oh, I'm sorry, darling, but it's a big story. Oh, darling, I wouldn't know. I'm only a little weekly girl. I thought we'd signed a truce. And when do we eat? Ah, darling, you're wonderful. We must hurry if we're going to catch that train. The train standing in number 4 platform is the Sleeper Express to London, Houston. It's so good for the sales, Agatha, dear. Now, don't tell me, I know how much it is. It's eight and six, isn't it? Wait a moment, I have it here. Two half crowns, seven thirty bits, and... Oh, I won't bother to count it. It's all there. You don't mind coppers, do you? I don't like it, Emmy. You're making us both ridiculous. What are you going to do with them all? Leave them about the train for publicity. Uh, ah, you have my sandwiches, haven't you? Miss A. Merton and Miss E. Merton. Reservation, A7 and 8. Thank you, madam. This way, madam. Have you a seating reservations, madam? 
Emma, give the man the tickets. Oh, oh dear. You help them. Don't you remember I said, think what the vicar said? He said, I always lose things, so I never have anything with me. And that's why... Uh, Emma, give the man the tickets. Yes, dear. Oh, here they are. <laughs> she must have given them back to me. Young man, are you sure the compartment is clean? Have the sheets been changed? But of course, madam. Is there anything behind you? Got, I want to think... Oh, just, just a minute. Now, can I tell you something? I, I want to tell you that I want this one in here and that one in there. No, no, no. no, no, no. We don't, I we want get them all over here. Otherwise, yeah. we get no, off no, the mother. No, if we just drop... Look, don't bother. Just drop the whole thing. We'll set it up. Don't drop it down. Give the man threepence, Emma. Oh, it's... Oh, sir, I got it in my bag. I... No, no, wait a moment. I'm sure I've got it. Hurry up, dear. I suppose I'm holding you back. You've got a lot to do, haven't you? Here it is. Certainly. <laughs> and thank you for all you've done. You've been so kind and helpful. Gold? No, sir. Okay, Mr. Du Bois, just as you like. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to let that out of my sight. No, sir. <laughs> that took me a mighty lot of diving. Yes, sir. I ain't moving away from it. Oh, darn it. Trunks, this is Northborough 34338. I want Boreham Wood 2461. Quickly, please. Yes, it's very urgent. My train is due out now and I've got to have it met. Hello, is that Easyway's garage? Is Mr. Davis there? Never you mind, get him at once. It's 22 and open's opening. You've not given me five. I asked for four. Anyway, I've only got a pound on me. We'll have to draw some off. Mr. Davis! What is it? You want it on the blower. It's truth, I must have it. Look, hold the next time, will you? Okay? Davis here. Is that Rover? Yes. Is anyone there with you? I don't seem to be able to get any privilege in my own office these days. Go ahead, all clear. Look, the gold has just been loaded. The gold, gold! Eight boxes have just been loaded into the guard's van at the end of the train. I'll push it up at the bridge on the moor as we arranged. About two o'clock in the morning. On the moor? 
At two o'clock. Yes, sir. We'll collect the road tonight and deliver to your instructions, sir. Aren't you alone? No, sir. Goodbye, sir. You'll never be rich. Why not? What makes you say that? Five gallons for a quid. Oh, him? <laughs> he only got four gallons. You should be able to retire from the garage business soon. That's just exactly what I've got in mind. Reservation for Mr. Rover. Yes, sir. A ten. That way, sir. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. Reservations for two, sir. Will Mrs. Rover be joining you soon, sir? Train's due to leave in a few minutes. No, it's not for my wife. A business friend. I'll keep an eye open for him. Oh, very good, sir. Thank you, sir. I'll see you're not disturbed. Excuse me, please. This is a noisy compartment. Oh, I don't think so, sir. All oh, soundproof, sir. I don't think you'll be disturbed. This is disgraceful. I particularly asked for a noisy compartment for my recording. The song of the Iron Way. In that case, I think you'll find it quite noisy enough, sir. It's right next door to my own apartment. Stick them up! Ooh, don't shoot me! Don't shoot the ticket collector, darling. I'm always sick on trains. It's in train. There's only one ticket here, sir, and there are two of you. I can only one of you go in. There must be some mistake. I... I must have dropped it. Well, I'm sorry, sir, but... You call me my partner a liar? Let me tell you, the Zalakis have travelled the world, yeah. played all the best places. Everybody knows there are always two Zalakis. Yeah, that's Mills, right. Mills, Littler, Oster yeah. Mills, Oster Barnum and Bailey. Madam, I'm asking this, Jennifer, for two tickets for two people. I've only one ticket here, only one of you can go in. All right, all right. I'll make the necessary arrangements. Hey, look at that. Yes, darling, lovely. Do you want a book to read? <laughs> okay. Can we have a sleeping apartment, please, double? Sorry, sir, we're full up. I would have liked to oblige you. I'm uh, from the Morning Echo. That's one of the big national newspapers, you know. Oh, shut up. I'm covering the gold story. Now, if you can... Uh... Oh, I'm afraid we're all booked. Now, if you go along to the buffy car in the front and come along and see me later, there might be a cancellation. Okay. Thanks. See you later. Come along, darling. Us men are in the Ooze Weekly Clarion knows a better way. Bob Wright, I have been married to you for eight hours and it's already becoming a Half a minute. Come on, sir. Hurry along, please. The Sleeper Express will leave for London in two minutes. Will passengers take their seats, please? Can I get you anything? Oh, what would you like, darling? Oh, I don't know. What are you going to have, darling? Oh, I think a drink of something. Would you like a drink, darling? Mm. Uh, what would you like? Oh, I don't mind. What are you going to have, darling? Oh, uh, what about a gin and tonic? 
be lovely. Uh, would you, uh, would you like something to eat? Yes, I think so. What about a sandwich? Would you like a sandwich, darling? Tomorrow. Good. Uh, two uh, large gin and tonics and four rounds of tomato sandwiches with lettuce. Certainly. Sorted out. Emma, I can't sleep here. Why not? With my back to the engine, I'm on my left side. Oh, Agatha, just I'm going to it's... sleep there. All right, dear, come along. Let's start everything. Yeah, it's a ridiculous oh. idea. Just oh. as I oh, oh, let me just excuse me. Never get anywhere. I, I wish we'd never come. Oh, oh Agatha, Agatha, now we don't say that. It's going to be great fun. It was very kind of Mr. De Vinci to ask us to the literary lunch. And literally, you think of that. He didn't ask us. He asked, oh, will you, what are you doing? He didn't ask us. He asked Buckram fast, after all. You know what you said about him. Six foot two in his socks, broad shoulder, deeply tanned. And everything that goes with it. Well, we are Buckram fast, aren't we? We ought to be proud of it. Yes, yes, but ask what will the dear vicar say when he finds out who we are. It's such awful stuff. Well, it's not so awful. Agatha, how much is a hundred thousand nine pences? Oh, I don't know. You don't know, of course you don't, neither do I, but it's a lot of money. I'm not sure that your mind should run so much on money and blood. After all, dear, there are higher things and more beautiful thoughts. Uh, I much preferred it when we were charity week, and I wrote those lovely thoughts in the clarion. And of course, you see, Emma. 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 Good evening, my dear. Would you like a book? No, thank you. It's most interesting. It's a murder story with a motive of revenge. Emma! Coming, Agatha, dear. see you? No. Good. What's the general? You know what we're after. There's about a hundred thousand worth of gold in boxes in the cage in the back of the train. Yes, I saw it come in. At about two o'clock in the morning, the train will be going slowly at the top of the moor. Our job is to throw the stuff out of the train. The other boys will collect it in a lorry. There's two guards back there, one locked in with it. And the old geezer that got the stuff out of the wreck. Well, the two of us. And we've two and a half hours. We're supposed to be on our way. Shall be a minute. It's as ready as it'll ever be. But I told you we were pushed for time. Then send me a decent fan in good time, not scrap behind at five minutes to the off. That'll do. Oh, come on. Let's get going. Sam, have you forgotten we've still got to pick up Charlie? I know.
Hey, what do you want? Jolly. Quick. If you're from Mr. Davis, he's going to look for you. He thought you couldn't be coming. Get in, Sam. We can't wait now. You'll have to wait a minute, sir. What, what have I done? Do you think it's quite the thing? What? Sounding your horn so late. Knocking the door would do. I'm sorry, Sergeant. It's a sort of signal and we haven't got much time. You'll have time to see to your side lamp and wipe your front number plate and put your tailboard up. Is that the lot? Isn't it enough? I haven't seen your rear lamps or your reflectors or your rear number plate. Thanks very much. I'll fix it. Sam, do that side lamp and clean up the number plate. I don't mind giving you a hand, sir. Thanks, officer. You're very helpful. No trouble, sir. Be alone. Darling, you're going to be all right if I go and find anyone I sleep. Oh, mm, I think so. Haven't you forgotten something? Darling, I can't kiss you here. No, darling, something far more important. It's your big national story. Oh, you're going to make a newspaper woman yet. Thank you. Back in ten minutes. Yes, dear. Nine for the story and one for the sleep. You can't stay here, sir. You'll find plenty of seats for the Oh, yes, time. of course. Here, mind what you're doing with that box. There's something inside there. A, a, a valuable apparatus. Oh, don't turn it upside down. Very good, sir. Which is the right oh. way up, sir? Uh, uh, well, I can't really remember. Well, I expect it will be all right there, sir. Now, sir, if you don't mind, you'll find seats further forward. I'm sorry, sir, but you can't stay in here. Morning, Echo. Just went away with Jake the boy. Well, well, I'm sorry, sir, but... I know, all this gold. But I'm a newspaper. I don't want gold. If I wanted money, I wouldn't be a newspaper. I've had my instructions, sir. I know. Just a word with him. I'll take him along and buy him a drink. Come, Mr. Dubois. It's quite safe here. Bert and me will see it safe. Uh, okay, I could do with a drink, but only for five minutes, mind you. Fine. Miss, Mrs. Bob Wright. Pleased to meet you. He doesn't say that very well, does he, Mr. Dubois? Well, he hasn't had much practice yet. We've only been married about eight, eight hours. hours. Well, I never been married at all. At least never as long as that. I'll get the drinks. Only me. But all my life. Never had time to settle down. Getting this gold out of the uh, Santa Maria wreck. Just a day's work, as you might say. And it's safe and quiet down there. Surely diving isn't as safe as all that. But you see, there ain't no mermaids down there. That's 
the way it is, lady. You will just go down, take what you want, and come up again. Why, hello, Mr. Wright. Whatever are you doing here? Are you traveling somewhere? Well, uh, Ruby of the Atomic Zulakis. How's things? For publication? Or what else? Never did better. Knocked them cold. Tell them that. Wherever the Atomic Zulakis went, we knocked them. I'm glad to hear it. I had heard that. Ah, so. never you mind what you heard. What I tell you is for publication. You will be nice about us, won't you, Mr. Wright? I hope you're not too thirsty. There'll be a little time yet. You give us a nice write-up, Mr. Wright, and I'll be especially grateful to you. Uh, I'll do all I can. Ruby LaBelle, I'm a married man. Excuse me. sounds mingled with the fiendish laughter of his captors. <laughs> Quiet. I really do not like it. Mr. Da Vinci will never believe that we are back with us and what will people think of us at home? Oh, Agatha, dear, they love it. They bask in our glory and fame. Gory glory. There's a title. Gory glory. Oh, do be quiet. What will the dear vicar say? Well, at least he'll know where all the money for the church fair brick fund is coming from. That's yours. Oh, I wish we'd never started writing stories. And such stories. They used to laugh at us when we wrote those beautiful thoughts by Charity Meek. I know they did, but they were harmless. Every little twinkling star has an angel hidden. When you young and married are, one comes to you when bidden. Love you. Now, it's the basic fury of life's struggles. The elemental forces fighting, killing, lustful. The reality. The These things don't happen in real life. Hey, all right. Cup of hot char. <laughs> I never thought of that. Well, just give me the cup of. Wait a minute. Forget circulation, but there ain't nobody about. Good evening, 
Mr. Rice. For God's sake, put that gun down. Listen, Pearl. You don't want to get sore at me. I did nothing. I never did. I've been trying to find you, to tell you. Where have you been? You know where I've been. Taking the rap for you, My Mr. Rupp. My dear, you Pearl. Need... Save your breath. There won't be any time. Oh, no. oh I'm so sorry. Oh, not at all, lady. Silly of me. Let me help you. Well, I, I think mine must be next door. Ah, yes. Well, down the believe it. A girl with a gun. Rubbish. I saw her. I saw her with my own eyes. Well, now sit down, dear. All this thinking about these awful now, affairs is making you see any... things. Now relax, dear, and drink that. You know, every little bubble brings a sparkle to your life and hides away the shady things of sorrow, hate, and strife. They seem to be friends. Oh, nonsense, that's Ruby LaBelle. That makes a difference. But of course. She made a pass at you. Or did you? Oh, darling, why not? It's business. She wants me to give her a paragraph. Oh, so that's what it is, business. Well, anyway, I've nearly got your story. You go and see about the speakers. See you soon. Mr. Dubois, tell me what happened when your mother threw your father out of the corn silo. I don't seem to remember. I must be getting old now. I find my mind's wandering. Excuse me, you're Miss LaBelle, aren't you? Oh, yes, that's me. I believe you're an old friend of Bob Wright's. Oh, Bob Wright? Why, of course. Well, we're just like that. Oh, yes, we're very old friends. Well, I mean, you'd hardly call us friends, really. I'm Mrs. Bob Wright. Oh, what have I said? I want to introduce you to Mr. Dubois. He's an old fan of ours. Pleased to meet you, Miss LaBelle. Come sit down. You're one of the Atomic Zalakis, aren't you? Hmm. How's tricks? Rotten, but don't say I said so. Have a drink. Well, I don't mind if I do. Horses, Nick? Do they? Oh, oh yes, I'd love one. Right, let's see if this bell works. Can I have my hand back now? Who the hell are you? Oh, sorry, I thought you were the attendant. Wait a minute. I've seen that place before. No, not him. Got it. Herman Rout, what are you doing on this train? I don't know you. And the name's not Rout, it's Rover. I'm Bob Wright of the Morning Echo. I have a very long professional memory for faces. Let me see. It was Lady Stringley's job, wasn't it? Emeralds, diamonds, and a vanishing chamber. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Herman Rout. Shut up. Don't call me Rout. I'm Rover. Were you asking for a sleeping compartment? Yes, I was. Oh, well, look, I've got two and I shan't use them. I never can sleep on trains. I'm going along to the restaurant car, so you have them, only don't call me Rout. Thank you, Mr. Rover. Oh, there you are. Mr. Rover has very kindly given his sleeping compartment to Mrs. Wright and myself. It was very kind of him. Not at all. I'll collect the rest of my luggage when we arrive in London. Good night. Very good, sir. Dear devil to rescue, said Builders. They ain't no better than us. But they had the luck. Got a lot of publicity, because the old man saved a kid from drowning. Headlines, top-line bookings. Talk about luck. 
Well, where are you going now? Going? Nowhere. No bookings, no money. Take Trigger, he's my partner. He's as good as any of them, but... Oh, what's the use of grumbling? Anyone care for a game of cards, just to pass the time? Well, I could do with a game of cards. Will you play too, Miss Labelle? Well, I, I might try. Oh, hello, Ruby. I didn't know you knew my wife. Uh, I've got the sleepers, darling. Well, I've got your story, so... Good night, Mom. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Well, what will it be? Poker? Poker suits me. I don't mind a game of poker myself. Well, I'd like to play too. I can tell the cards, you know. No gambling, mind. Oh, just for matches. That's right, gentlemen, isn't it? Just for matches. Throw some match and ten bob limit. Suits me. Well, keep that place for me. I won't be long. Just want to see if my luggage is okay. Well, that's okay. I'll be back soon. <laughs> said your husband wasn't violent. Ah, excuse me. I'm making you see a collection of the noises of all the drains in the world. It is very significant. People of all countries we learn better to understand each other. Sure, but right now I'm in a hurry. I want to get through to the luggage van. Good! That is a significant coincidence. You will help me, please. I also am going there to make a recording. a game of cards. I wanted to make sure the gold's all right. Don't you worry, Mr. Dubois. Me and the gold will be all right. Who's that geezer? Tell him he's not allowed in here. Okay, see you later. Oh. Very interesting noises. You can't stay here, sir. It's against regulations. Go away, sir. Mr. Dubois, can you explain to this gentleman that no one's allowed in here? Not with all this here. Come on, you. You're breaking the regulations. Chambermaid. Darling, do you know everyone on this train? Do introduce me. What is all this? I don't know. It's quite a coincidence. Herman Rout and the Vanishing Chambermaid both on the same train, and this is his sleeper. You heard it coming to him. He got me put away for three years. I was in love with him then. Um, I'll have three. No, 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 I won't. No, I'll, I'll have two. <laughs> I don't think the others are silly. I know you are. I'll have four. Nice ones looking nice to me. Oh, they're not nice at all. Not me. Four. Now you look after it. Better get some rest. You'll get into far worse trouble if you let this gun go. Is it? Oh, no. No. I'll be all right. Please. 
see. I'm seeing you. Oh, you are awful. Do you hear what he said? He wants to see your cards. Oh, my cards. I haven't got anything. Why, that's a flush. You've won, Ruby. It's a flush. Oh, I never knew that. Aren't <laughs> oh, men awful?
one of those what do you call them again? <laughs> This is too much for me. I'm off. Good night. It's time they went to sleep, but they will keep knocking on the wall. Very well, madam. I have a word. Mary. I never did like that tie. Where's Pearl? Mr. Wright, your wife has been in mortal danger. Your chambermaid has disappeared, and as far as I'm concerned... Has she got the gun? Yes. This is serious. We don't want a murder. Did you hear that, Agatha? That was a pistol shot. There's going to be a real murder. Are you all right, my dear? <laughs> Look out! It's Pearl with the gun! Very much. Now you can drop that gun, and you put your hand up. Thank you, little Sir Echo. You arrived just in time. Now, in here, both of you. Oh, I kept telling Agatha what Buck Grimfast would have done. Buck Grimfast, don't tell me he's on this trail. I think he is, you see. We are Buck Grimfast. You. But how wonderful, what a story! Come far? London. Far to go? About 20 more and then back to London. In a hurry? As a matter of fact, I am a bit. Pity. 30's your limit. Don't hurry or you'll have your number taken. I'm sorry, I didn't notice it. I'm sure, sir. I noticed you because your rear light's off. Thanks very much. I'd better attend to it. I should if I were you. didn't put one on. You must have shaken off. Then where are the bolt holes? Now go and take the one off the front and be quick about it. And get moving. All right. It had better be. That was too close a shave for my liking. at all. Our stories are no more unreal than this one. That girl with the gun. Mary here. I think what's happened to Bob. I think I'd better go and see. No, let's miss anything. You're certainly not going alone. It's much too dangerous. Right, come on. Yes. Buck Grimfast to the rescue. Please, has anyone gone past this way? All that cop this way. It is monstrosity. Tell it, tell, tell it. What? Five minutes to go. Get the boxes ready. You haven't got a chance. Shut up. Right. You might just well ask the guard if you've seen them now that we're here. Bob, are you? Oh, another gun. How exciting. Agatha, dear, what did I? Come on, you. Inside. Be quiet. This is the world's what fun. Shut up. Don't be rude, young man. Keep your mouth shut. Young man, if you don't keep a civil shut up. You lily livered wall eyed skunk. How dare you insult a lady? Ah, God. Can I leave this book snack in there? Oh, certainly. The more the merrier. Uh, Come right in. Oh, no. No, I don't think it matters. Come in. No. We'll have the whole damn train load back here. What are we going to do with them? We'll think about that later. 
minutes to go. Keep moving. the train. Well, good luck to you. I must be getting back to my gold. Gold? The gold in the luggage car. I'm taking it to the museum in London. Oh, I've never seen gold. Not real gold. Can I come and see it? It's all in boxes, beautiful. Oh, I'd like to see it. Hey, you come along, little lady. You coming too? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Pity. She signaled. This must be it. Right through here, lady. Hello, Mr. Rowland. Oh, no. What are you doing with that gun? This is a holdup. What is that? Oh, you do look silly. Well, why doesn't somebody say something? Here she comes. They were going to push it out anyway. We could try further down. This is the place and that's the train. I think Mr. Clever Road has come unstuck. Come on, let's get out and quick. Whatever they like that boys, it all. It's you again. Yes, we're going home now. You don't mind if I look in the back? Certainly not. Only too happy. See? Nothing. There was no one there, so now we're going back. I wonder if you can help me with one or two inquiries we're having to make. Of course. What do you want to know? What were you doing in that field? Well... And the front number plate that isn't there anymore. You may as well get in now and be comfortable until the patrol car comes along. You can't hold us up like this. We've done nothing. Save it, sir. I tell you, you're making a big mistake. My life's all mistakes. Mostly other people's. Ah. Central 12,000, please. I'm Robert Wright of the Morning Echo. Do you mind spelling? That's it. Right. W-R-I-G-H-T. Evangeline, where are you? Darling, are you all right? Watch it out! Of course not, darling. Don't be silly. Can I be sick now? Yes, yes darling, as sick as you like. Well, you know, once you want to thank you, you might get a kidney injury developing months after. You've got to be careful. The 1932 Act makes first provision for your dependents, sir. Just a moment, sir. Can I have your phone number, please? Central 12,000. Thank you, sir. Bye. Now, ladies, can I have your names, please? Uh, Buck Grimfast. Will you spell it, please?
I call a story? Hello? Yes. It's a dozen stories. Hello? Who? Yes, hold on a moment. It's for you. Hello? Who? Bob Wright. Get this. Bandits hold up Gold Express. Spanish treasure. What about Buck Grimfast? Who? They were on the train. What are you talking about? You've been scooped, Bob Wright. Scooped? Who in hell by? A special correspondent. Just signed her on. Used to work with some little heck weekly. Said her name was Mary Wright. Mary Wright. Where do I get my hands on you? <laughs>